Alright, greetings to everyone. I have just successfully finished installing my line locker slash launch controller. So if we have a look, coming out of the master cylinder, uh, we got the rear brake line, which was just a single line. So we basically come out of it into the solenoid, which is a BNM solenoid, line locking solenoid. Uh, out of it, it comes back out into into the original fitting for the bra back brake lines. So it's a kind of a simple circuit. So this basically goes between the brake line, um, just into the middle, and you have a switch on off. If it's on, it actually isolates the rear brakes. So when you hop onto the brakes, it only affects the front brakes. The remaining uh, the back wheels will be still turning. Now I'll just give you a quick demo how it works. The car's uh, up on stands, so. We'll hop into here. Um, okay, let's start it up. Clutch in. We're in first gear. All right, it's up. All right, so now I'll uh, let go of the clutch. Okay, wheels are spinning. Uh, wheels are spinning. The controller is switched off. I'll uh, I'll hop onto my brakes and just watch what happens. See, wheels stop, um, and that's just all four brakes working normally. So now I'll come off the brakes as you come off normally, not on the brakes. I'll come here, flick the flick the switch. Now that activated the switch. Now I'll rev up the car again, get the wheels moving, and you see that wheels are moving. But now I'll hop onto the brake as well, and, and I'm still revving it on the brake. Look, wheels are still spinning in the back. So, um, and uh, I'll switch it off now and hop onto the brake. And the car stalls because I didn't hop onto the clutch. Um, well, anyway, that's a successful installation of a line locker on a 1984 VK Commodore. Ready to rip it up. Alright guys, I'll catch you in another video.